Hello, MSSU Lions. Today, the library would like to talk to you about collection development and the role that faculty and staff play in updating and developing library collections. The first question you may have is how are materials selected to be added to the library collections? It all starts with the library budget. You can view the library budget information from the library homepage under About, Library Statistics, Budget and E-Resource Usage. Scrolling down, you can see the budget is divided into several different sections. The majority of the library's budget goes towards electronic resources such as e-journals, e-books, and databases. This is due to the high usage and high demand for electronic resources in academics. On average, the library spends 2 to 3% of its budget for print materials. Due to COVID-19, no allocations were possible for this previous year, but generally speaking, the library offers between $500 and $1,000 for 20 academic departments and co-curricular departments. It is requested that all purchase requests be turned in by April 1st. Allocations are allowed for one-time purchases of print and electronic books. They cannot be used for subscriptions due to the fact that they are not guaranteed. Faculty help library collection development through allocations. When the budget allows, the library provides an amount to each department for the purchase of new materials for the library collections. This allows new materials to be added to the library collections selected by faculty to support student and faculty studies. Each department on campus has a library liaison who communicates directly with the librarian. Together, they work on any issues or support that the department requires from the library. This includes allocations. When allocations are announced, a document is sent to the liaison that they can share with the rest of the department to help make selections until they have purchased the full amount. That document is then sent back to the library and we purchase and process the materials. When the materials are ready, they are put on the new bookshelf for one year so that only MSSU students and faculty and staff can check them out. Once the year is over, the materials are moved to the main collection where they can be browsed by anyone. Utilizing OCLC, the library's provider of cataloging records, you can see that the age of the library's collection tends to be mostly 2000 to 2009 with other materials that are newer, but also many that are older. The role that faculty plays is purchasing allocations that help to update the collection and keep print materials relevant to current studies for faculty and students. The library also offers complete view of the collections available to your department. If you are undergoing accreditation or program review, the library will prepare a document as the one you see on the screen that will list the print materials, ebooks and databases that are relevant to your field. This can allow you to review your materials and decide where you need to make purchases and what needs to be updated. To obtain a report like this, please contact Melissa Forsyth. When the budget allows, the library also has a program called Summer in the Stacks that will reward faculty for weeding their sections of materials. 
Faculty are allowed to work 20 hours in the library reading materials and in return receive funds to purchase replacement materials to update the collection. Again, if you are interested, please contact Melissa Forsythe. And thank you!